In the last video I showed you how to do this spiral vase right here. And this is neat, but this isn't the only thing that you can do with the sweep tool in Fusion 360. And so I'm going to show you something very similar to this to produce a different kind of vase, but it's not exactly the same thing as a spiral. So I'm going to start a new design in Fusion. Make sure the timeline's enabled. And uh, at the time of recording this, 3D sketching was in beta, so uh, when you're watching this it might be out of beta, but just in case, go to your name up the top corner, click preferences, and then go to preview, and make sure this box where it says sketch is checked. Okay, now we can begin. First thing we got to do is make our bottom profile what we want the actual shape of the vase to be and we make it on this bottom plane right here so we're just going to make a sketch there in the last video I made it a six-sided polygon, a hexagon though really you can make it whichever shape you want so I'm going to do that here, I'm just going to press L for the line tool and just make a random shape some sort of potato thing and once you're happy with the shape in this sketch, you just hit stop. Now we need to make another sketch. So sketch button again and make it on this back plane uh, perpendicular to your first sketch. We need to make a point where this line, or any line rather, but this line for this example, where it intersects this plane, see how the grid is like a like a flat surface and this line goes through it, we need to put a point right here. To do that, go to sketch, project slash include, and click intersect, and just click the line. As you can see, it put a pink point where that line intersects this plane. You can turn off your first sketch for now because that's all we needed from it. In the very center, at the origin, put a line straight up, just like last time. And now we're going we could do one of two things. We can either make a spline or a jagged line, depending on what kind of vase we want to make. I'm gonna make a, uh, a spline first. So I'm gonna go up to here to the spline tool. And I'm gonna start where we made that projected point, that intersected point. And I'm gonna make this a th three point spline green check mark. Like before, we want this to end at the exact same height where this ends. To do this, go to the sketch palette, horizontal vertical, and then click the two top points. Now they are always at the same height. Also in the sketch palette, make sure the 3D sketch box is checked. I'm going to stop this sketch turn back on my other sketch you can see where the spline actually touches right here gonna go to sweep see, uh, path plus guide rail not single path for the profile select the bottom profile for the path select the straight vertical line for the guide rail select the spline that looks good okay you can kind of see what it did here. Here's that line that we use the intersect tool on. And as you can see, this face, the middle of it, now follows that spline. I'm going to go back in to the second sketch with the spline, and I'm going to mess with it to make our vase a little different looking. I'm going to pull these vertices into three dimensions. Right now they're stuck on a plane, they're in two dimensions, but with the 3D sketch options now you can easily pull them into third dimension. So right click, move slash copy. You can click on these points and move them around. As you can see they're now in three they're now in 3D space.
You can also click on these little handles right here, little green handles. Sometimes they're blue. And you can also manipulate these, these tangency handles. So now our curve has kind of like an S shape, but also kind of curves inward. That looks pretty good. You click OK, then click Stop Sketch, and our sweep down here will update. As you see, we have this funky looking thing now. If you don't like the shape of your profile, you can go in and edit that. Though be careful about uh, the line you chose to make your intersect point on because if you delete that line, then you'll need to re-update -up the other sketch and pick a new line. So as long as you don't delete it, it should be okay. Stop sketch, there we go. All right, now to show you the other option, which is a jagged line instead of this smooth spline that I made. So I'm gonna go into second sketch, edit it. Gonna get rid of that spline. Make sure this point's still here. And I'm going to select just the regular line tool and kind of just make a jagged line going up. Once again, I'm going to make these end at the same height. I don't want these to be parallel. Gotta delete that constraint that it put on it. First, I'm going to stop sketch, and since I deleted the spline, my sweep now needs to be updated. Right click, edit feature. Where it says guide rail, just click the new line I made. And you can see what it did. It kind of, instead of that sweep, it now follows this jagged line. And it's kind of polygonal now. You can also use the 3D sketch options now to move non spline lines in the third dimension as well. See? Gonna kind of make this a zigzag and then pull this one over here a little more. Right here. That looks good. Okay, stop sketch. Hmm. Kind of interesting effect. People seem to like polygonal stuff on Thingiverse. I don't like this profile though. Gonna change that. And like before, if you want to make it interior to this, just go to Modify, Shell, click the top face. Type in the wall thickness you want. I'm going to go for 5 millimeters. Hit Enter. There you go. It has an inside now. Hope you like this video. If you have any requests for tutorials, whether they're dumb tutorials like this or legit ones please let me know in the comments I don't get many views so I'll most likely see your comment because there won't be very many of them thanks for watching